Hi viewers, welcome back. Today I came uh, on a machine. This machine is the EC480D valve excavator. The problem of this machine, uh, this machine is starting good. There's no problem. And uh, when we start the machine, when we uh, this uh, unlock the machine and start to operating the machines, it uh, RPM increased uh, according to required conditions but after 10 to 20 seconds its RPM automatically become idle even we continue to operate the machines. I show you first I am going to start the machine so you can see I have start I am going to start the I am going to start the machine so you can see machine is starting, the RPM is ok, good one, no problem. When I, this my accelerator dial, when I increase the accelerator, you can see this showing, accelerator is taking, no, you can heard the voice and accelerator is increased, no problem. Ok, so now I, so, is a, no, I am not working, any more working. So this machine is automatically RPM go down. So now I will this unlock button when I unlock this. So you can see this accelerator is increased automatically. Okay. So I am not working. I am not operating the machine. So RPM is go down. It means good one. Now if I start work like may. This machine is a, you can see, now is a machine is operating, but RPM still there. You can see, I uh, show you, you can see the pocket is going up, but here the RPM is not increasing, RPM is still there. I am operating the machine, but RPM is not increasing. Touch this button, like this, small touch, you can see. The RPM is but now I am functioning the machine. Okay, the RPM is a but after 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it's come down. Now, check it. I am operating the machine. Maybe you now I am traveling this one. Traveling this one. Now, machine is traveling, but my RPM is not increasing. My actually, so one thing I want to clear you actually, night time, I service guys. Uh, has made a service of this uh, machine maybe they have the do something but uh, I'm not sure uh, I, go, I will check and uh, what is the fault and uh, why this is happening like this I will let you know so viewers I have opened this cover to check the our accelerated dials first I check the all the electrical uh, problems the most probability the problem in the few lines but uh, I want to check first this uh, uh, dial is working or not. I will uh, clean all the connectors uh, and then afterward uh, we will uh, uh, check the few lines uh, and most probability problem in the few lines. Control uh, accelerator dial. This one is our accelerator dial. So I don't uh, think it has any fault. So I just only remove this connector and clean it. Now I am going to fix back, I am going to fix back this cover and check. This is a, dial is looking good, no problem. But I check it, I also clean this connector and I am going to fix back. I have fixed back this cover. Okay, I clean the connector of this uh, accelerator dial. So now I am going to, this one is the increasing the accelerator like this. So now I am going to start the machine first. To, you can say machine is on okay and I also check the it's a, any code is coming so uh, I will scroll down here is the message vehicle messages I select okay so you can see here is an no more any message okay now we will check the all the few lines and check there is any leakage or any problem so we use the mechanic check this area this uh, uh, nut was uh, loose 
here also you can see downside this uh, diesel was uh, dropping here so he also tied this one okay we also we have tied this uh, diesel line actually there was the here was a little leakage so we check it was the loose this nut was loose we we now tight it and downside you can see also the diesel is dropped so we after and also i show you another place there was also little diesel leak so uh, we all fix this one then we will check the problem solved or not so i think this is a diesel problem but also i am checking the all the electrical fault actually the machine is not showing any error so i also check the other place so this nut was also loose little so you can see here is also uh, diesel is drop here due to leaks this one we also tied this one actually problem was not before night time uh, our uh, service team has uh, served this uh, machine so this uh, they had changed the filter so maybe the this these filters had a problem so still we have not uh, found any uh, any issues because the where we have the doubt we have little doubt here okay uh, we fix this one and also doubt other place which i i showed you uh, but machine little still not uh, working so we also checking we maybe we will uh, now going to change this filter maybe the filter put uh, he fixed the night time he made the service so after making making the service this uh, machine is had the problem so we will uh, change this this also has little leak is also here still here you can see so there's a so i not sure and this is also leak little here small small okay you can see this is also leakage here little small so we will change this one and after uh, uh the you i showed you first there was a uh, some uh, problem was the net was loose there and also this we fixed this one and also we fixed the other side but it's still problem not solved now i am going to change this filter maybe this filter have the problem so after uh, changing the filter we will see now i have, we have changed the filter now i'm going to start the machine now machine is in on i'm going to start it start so a machine i have started now i turn this uh, accelerator dial so unlock the machine machine is unlocked So oh, viewers, you can see the our machine is operating and it's uh, getting the RPM as much as he needed. So it means our problem has uh, solved. The problem was only the filters. We already changed the filter and the problem is solved. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video. So.